Okay, so you want to stream Beat Saber. It's a lot more easy than you think. First of all, you will need a PC for it, or gaming laptop, one or the other. Both work, just make sure that if you are using a gaming laptop, it can run it, because some can't. So, and then make sure you have OBS Studios downloaded, and then make sure you have Beat Saver purchased off Steam, and then make sure you also have Oculus Air Link set up on your Quest 2, which is how you can play PC VR games on the Quest 2 through the PC. So make sure you have Air Link set up as well, and obviously, like I said, Beat Saver purchase on Steam for this tutorial. And also, before we get started, if you want to stream with Beat Saver mods, I have made a tutorial on how to get mods for Beat Saver, so go and check the, this video out right here if you want to get mods and play at the same time, because mods do make streaming a lot more fun and a lot better for your content, so I would highly recommend it. So yeah, go and check out that video right there. Anyways, let's get started. So, we're going to start with setting up the OBS capture first, because you want to uh, set up the stream. We're not going to open the game yet, we're just going to get our sources ready. So make a new uh, scene. When you made a scene on OBS, uh, go ahead and pick, you can see sources here. You want to get your microphone, so you press OK here. Then where it says default, click on it, and you want to drag it to where it says headset, microphone, oculus, a virtual audio device. Press the plus again, press audio this time. Then go ahead and do the same thing, headphones, oculus, virtual audio device. Now, you want to have the like the audio for your headset a little bit lower than your microphone because this is that's your input, so you want your mic to be louder than the game so that people can hear you clearly because you don't want like your mic to be like really low while the music's really loud in Beat Saver, so you definitely turn it down a bit. I recommend putting it like somewhere in between the minus 30 and minus 25. That's where it's usually the best. Then go ahead and add a game capture. Obviously, Beat Saver isn't open yet, but when it is open, we can use this. Alright, so if you are going to be using mods and um, playing, and you go ahead and went out and you checked out this video, which I showed earlier, um, and you got the mods from BS Manager and all that, um, what you want to do is click on your old game, because if you watch that YouTube video that I showed you there, you would already have it set up. So make sure you do go watch it because it is important if you are playing with mods. Click on this and then have it if it... Sometimes it's pressed by default, but if not, click Oculus mode so you have the lights flashing around it. And then just leave it on that page for now. Just leave it there. Um, so what I mean by leave it there is you just press this little line button and it will go away, but you can still have it opened up. Alright, so now go on your headset and launch the air link uh, place, which is like this little area. Press this plus button to add desktop panels, and then uh, we have the snipping tool, which I'm like using to like record my screen. We have our OBS here, and we have MetaQuest, but the one we want is the BS Manager if you're using mods. If you're not using mods, literally just go ahead and load your game on Steam, and the game will open for you. But if I'm just showing people how to use our mods. If you're not using mods, just literally open the game, and it will load up here. But if you're using mods, press the BS Manager. This is why I told you to leave it open. Mm. And then now Oculus mode is highlighted, you can press the launch button. And it'll say launching, don't forget to, to warm up. Now give it a few seconds and it'll say like this thing loading or blah blah blah. But when it loads like fully, you'll see like this little thing come up. So it'll go black for a second. But when when the game actually fully loads, you'll be in Beat Saber. There you go. Um, so because I have mods turned on, for my lives, um, I do have my little camera in the back and stuff like that. So, there we go, I'm in Beat Saver. I have my uh, chat thing, which is what I use for my streams. If you want to get this mod, it's called Beat Saver Plus. Just search it up. But to get YouTube to work with it, you will need to be one of their Patreon members. There's my camera there in the back. Um, which I use, and if you guys did download the, that camera 2 mod from that other video, you can set up different camera angles, um, like that, so that's what my computer screen will see right now. So, now you need to actually get it to work on OBS, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. I'm on my headset, you can actually see that my headset and headset audio is actually picking up on the OBS, because I'm still in my headset, but I just have my computer nearby me, 
Um, and now you Beat Saver is actually now open on my PC. So now go to Window, and then you can see. You might have to try and re-click, so click here and then click back again. If it don't show up, then click Window, and you can see Beat Saver right here. Click that, and Beat Saver will appear in your little cars here. If you're wondering how I have um these like little cameras on the bottom and the bottom right, it's a mod called Camera Two. Um, which I did show in that other tutorial on how to get mods and you can set up like different camera angles like I showed um, earlier So yeah, and then when you're ready to stream because now you have your game like look I'm gonna move my arms around and look and you can see it showing up So um, and then what you want to do is Literally go to your settings and uh, connect whatever platform you're gonna be using to stream like twitch YouTube uh, Like whatever you want to use that is available on there when you have it set up, you go, you can uh, either you can press start streaming, and then or if you're like so on Twitch, you can just press start streaming. Um, but obviously, make sure you go on Twitch and uh, make your like name change. If you're on YouTube, there'll be a manage button here. There'll be like a manage broadcast, and you can create a broadcast. And then when you're ready, you just press start streaming, and boom, you will be live on Beat Saber. It's that simple and that easy. And um, yeah. So I hope this tutorial helps some of you guys out. So yeah. Have fun with your streaming. Bye.